Hello everybody, please subscribe to my channel, like my video, click on the bell notification button and share my video with others. In this video, we are going to solve an integration problem from MIT Integration B 2020. Before we start, we need to be sure we have following three information. Number one, we need to know the derivative of e power negative x power 4. So therefore, the integral of x power 3 multiply e power negative x power 4 dx is equals to negative 1 over 4 e power negative x power 4. Number 2 is the resolve Gaussian integral. Previously, I have 12 minutes video for that. So therefore, we are not going to de rewrite everything again. We need to know integral 0 to infinity for e power negative x square is equals to 1 over 2 multiply square root of pi. Another equation is integral negative infinity to infinity for e power x power 2 dx is equals to square root of pi. But we are going to use the first one only in this video. Number 3. We need to know limits for x goes to infinity for x power 2 multiply e power negative x power 4 is 0. This is because x power 2 grows lower than e power x power 4. The question is integral 0 to infinity x power 5 multiply e power negative x power 4 dx. We need to rewrite the equation become integral 0 to infinity x power 2 multiply x power 3 multiply e power negative x power 4 dx. We implement the i table for integration by part. We choose the derivative which is x power 2 while the integral is x power 3 multiply e power negative x power 4. Derivative is 2x while the integral is what we found in the first information we need which is negative 1 over 4 multiply e power negative x power 4. We can stop the i table here. The first part of the new i is negative 1 over 4 x power 2 multiply e power negative x power 4 for 0 to infinity and plus integral 0 to infinity 1 over 2x e power negative x power 4 dx. As we found in the previous uh, information number 3, the first part of the i equals to 0. And then for the second part of the i, instead of x power 4, we rewrite it as x power 2 and then power 2. Define u equals to x power 2 and then we get du over dx. And then we get dx equals to du divided by 2x. From u equals to x square, the limits in u domain is 0 to infinity as well. And then, replace u dx and new limits in u into i. So i equals to 1 over 4 multiply integral 0 to infinity e power negative u power 2 du. This part of the equation is Gaussian integral which is information number 2 at the beginning of this video. From here, we know that i equals to 1 over 4 multiply 1 over 2 multiply square root of pi. Therefore, the answer of this question is square root of pi divided by a. Please continue support my channel by subscribe, give a like and share with others. Thank you.